throwing back. We just bleach the knots on our beautiful frontal here. And now we're gonna go in and do a bit more customization. So we have a handy pair of tweezers and we're gonna go in, just do a little bit more customizing right in this hairline. Again, Maven did a great job at pre-plucking our frontals, but we just wanna make sure that we customize it to our client's needs. So I'm gonna pluck it all around, but really concentrate in these recessive areas uh, where I know it's gonna fit best on my model. Okay, now it's time for those coveted baby hairs. Time to get light. So go ahead and just take out what you want. I'm not a fan of the real heavy things, but to each his own, no shade. This does come with some baby hairs. If you like ears long, you can customize it however you want. And then we're gonna go ahead and mold it down so we can make sure we like the shape that we see. So we went ahead and customized our hairline with the plucking and also cut in some baby hairs. So I went ahead and shaped them up just to get an idea of how they may look on my client. You notice now that the hairline thins out and again, it looks really natural like your own hairline. It's not super thick just from the beginning. And Maven made it that much easier because again, they already came pre-plucked. So that made my life so much easier. So we've customized our wig. We went ahead and plucked it. We cut in some custom baby hairs. It's really important to make sure you guys do that step and you don't take a wig off and just slap it on because it will look like a wig. And nowadays we need our wig to look flawless like it's growing out of your scalp. So if you didn't get that memo, you got it today and you've been warned, okay? Don't let me catch you in these streets. I'm gonna take off any excess oil around the hairline. Putting on our first layer using this to slick her hair out the way as well. Next step you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and cut the excess lace and also cut anywhere you need to if it doesn't fit on your client or on your own hairline. So I'm gonna take this, pull it up to the front. I'm actually gonna line up those baby hairs with her own just to give me an idea of placement. And just take small snips. You don't need to go too fast. And if she's putting tension, it's just gonna come right off. You move the hair out the way so that you don't accidentally cut the hair. So again, look at how that just blends right into her scalp. That's what you wanna see. And even if we were to bring this forward again, we would have a very nice and seamless blend. So you could do this with or without the natural baby hairs. So now we're gonna go ahead, and put on our second layer of our Gatsby Ultra Glue and glue this thing down. We went ahead and put on a brown stocking cap or a brown wig cap. We're gonna take a little bit of powdered makeup and we're gonna go ahead and put it down the center. And the reason why we're doing this is just to help that part to pop. So what I like to do is to put it on the actual cap and also take that same powder and put it underneath on the wig. Now that we have cut off our lace, we've powdered our wig cap, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a second layer of our Got To Be Ultra Glued. Let it get tacky, put our wig on, lay down them baby hairs and wrap it up. Give it about 10 minutes to set and do some styling. When you're handling the wig, try your best not to handle the lace directly too much. That can also make it tear. So we went ahead, gave some baby hair, gave a little bit of sideburn action. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it. That's a little behind the scenes trick for ya. So by wrapping the edges, 
you're actually helping it to set and to stay a little bit longer than it normally would. All right, we're all done. So let's see how we did laying these baby hairs down and give her a little skin. All right, you guys, so this is the new Maven wig. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Maven here, here on YouTube.